We begin with new developments in a disturbing viral video showing a dog being beaten. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Andy Sirota. And I'm Christine Noel. The Houston SPCA now offering a reward to find the dog that was violently kicked in that video. We do want to warn you that the video you're about to see is difficult to watch. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers is joining us live this morning with the very latest in this case. Brittany. Now, we just got an update from the SPCA, and they said that they are, as you mentioned, offering that $500 reward. They say that it's imperative to them to find this animal. They've been walking up and down the streets here, handing out flyers, trying to talk with people. They say they want to know if any, anyone has seen the dog or knows who uh, may own this animal. Now, as we reported, this viral video shows a Houston woman beating and kicking a dog as onlookers laugh. The woman seen in the video, however, says there's more to the story before the recording starts she claims that it attacked her five-year-old son she says not once but three times representatives with the SPCA said they couldn't comment on that but said their focus is handing out flyers today and finding the dog and if he or she does need some care uh, we certainly will make sure that that's taken care of because it also could be you know we don't know if this dog has an owner uh, is microchipped possibly so we're going to look at all of those angles we want to make sure that the uh, maybe it's the dog needs some some nutrition uh, whatever the the case may be we just want to make sure that this animal is taken care of I did speak with HPD this morning. They tell me that as it stands right now, their animal cruelty unit is aware of the video. They're looking into the case, but no charges have been filed. Now, there were members of the unit here for that news conference this afternoon, but they told me that they were unable to comment or take any of our questions. Reporting live, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News.